a couple of weeks into this, coming into spring ball, what was this first few weeks been like for you? It's been exciting. Uh, learning curve for sure. You know, new players on the field, learning. Uh, you know, a lot of the receivers, running backs, kind of just people on the field. You know, it's one thing to throw routes in an indoor versus going out there with a lot of defense out there because you got to react to them. So it's been it's been exciting and fun, and you know, learning a lot. How's the chemistry kind of coming along as you're, you know, getting your first work in with the wideouts? It's gotten better and better every day. Every practice we've been in there, every time we go up in the film room, we're communicating, learning from one another, and, you know, always trying to improve in that aspect. What's it like with, with Barry? It seems like he's real chatty when, you, when we're out there and he doesn't stop talking. Is that a good or a bad thing for you as a quarterback? It's a good thing because you get a lot of information. Um, no, he's, he, that's, just, that's just how he is. When we're in the film room, on the field, off the field, you know, he's he's an outgoing guy, and he has a lot of energy, and we all appreciate that in the room. Are you starting to, are you starting to feel comfortable with the offense where you can just play and not have to think too much? Right. I mean, there's always installs. Uh, like this week, we installed a bunch of plays, so it's always learning, always learning. But, you know, as Tuesday and Thursday go on, everything settles by Saturday, so then you can go out there and have a very clean practice. How do you think this offense uh, fits your skill set? I think it fits well. Um, you know, they do a lot of things that I like. Some things are new to me that I'm looking for and was looking for. And, you know, it's just it's good to be out there with a live defense and being able to see that versus watching it on film. When you set goals for what you wanted to accomplish in spring, whether that be just the rate of what you, you get going, like, do you feel like you're getting close to maybe achieving some of those? Right. I, I feel like I'm close. I mean, you always, you're always striving to be better. But for me, it's just to not make the same mistake twice, try to push myself to be better and better every day and you know, help my teammates grow around this offense in general. You're two weeks away from the scrimmage game to end the spring where you get to play in front of some Illinois fans. What has kind of fan reaction been like since you arrived on campus? It, it's been cool. I mean, you know, everything's kind of been on Twitter. You know, I haven't really seen anybody in person my first time, like you said, playing in front of Illinois fans. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see, you know, the stadium with some people in it for the first time. So I'm ready for it. It's coming quick. I guess as kind of a grad, Transfer. I mean, knowing this year in college would kind of be it for you. How does that kind of change your sense of urgency in the offseason? Uh, I think it's the same thing, you know, just going in and learning the offense and going through spring ball and trying to get the most out of every single practice because limited practices, you only get 15. It's not like during camp where you have a whole month to prepare. You have 15 practices to get the most out of it, learn from it, and be able to hit the ground running when camp comes. How's that gone about whether it be the offensive line or the wide receivers just kind of building that chemistry here just to have a base before you get into the summer and fall? A lot of it is communication, you know, um, especially for me being new here, you know, learning a lot of new faces. You know, I tried to earn a lot of their trust in the weight room because that was the only way I could have done it then. And then when I got on the field, talking with conviction um, and helping just build that bond and trust. So when you communicate with them, you look each other in the eyes, you talk to each other, you believe what each other is saying, and you move from that. We've heard from Brett and Barry that they want the quarterbacks, not just you, but everybody to you know step forward, step up in the pocket instead of roll wide. Has that been an adjustment for you, um, or is that something you've looked forward to having in an offense? For sure, that's something that I'm definitely adjusting to, um, something that I'm constantly reminded every single day and something that I believe I have gotten better at the past couple of practices, something that I always think about all the time is stepping up in the pocket so that it's easier for the offensive line when they just flush everything out and you roll up there. When uh, programs go out to the portal and grab a quarterback, especially a grad guy, there's pretty high expectations. Um, do, do you feel any of that pressure, or, or do the coaches do a good job keeping the pressure off of you? Right. I mean, I put the most pressure on myself to be the best that I can be and push myself every single day. So, I mean, that, that's always something that I've had since I was younger, so that's nothing new to me. But, you know, everybody, everybody's on everybody. Everybody knows what the expectations for this team are and what the potential of this team is and what it needs to be, whether that's coaches on players or players on players. I think that's been very well so far. What's your, pers oh, ahead, Joey. What's your perspective as a quarterback? Just You've had so many receivers in green this, this spring, and you've had to work with so many different dudes on that first team. Is there is there a mentality you like to bring to having new guys almost on a consistent basis? I think it's... I think it's good and bad. You know, obviously you want to be out there with the guys that you could potentially be playing with, but I think it's good for young guys to have the opportunity to be able to step up, show what they can do. And for the quarterback position, whether it's me or anybody else that's there, you know, you're able to be adjusted to those guys. You're not just specifically throwing with only one or two guys. You know, you have a majority of guys who can come in and play, and you know, you're ready for anybody that's out there. You're in the weight room. That's the only way you can build a truck, like, you know, kind of build that with these guys. What's that look like? like I mean, are you trying to go way extra? Like, how did you kind of build No, no, no. You always just have to be yourself. You know, everybody's different. Everybody leads different. Everybody acts different. 
Uh, for me, like I'm pretty energetic in the weight room. Um, coming from New Jersey, you know, there's the Northeast. I mean, I guess it's similar here. You know, there's a winter. It's not like we're in Florida where you can just be outside and run around and throw 24/7. So when the winter comes, you have to work out. So I'm kind of used to that. So when I go in there, you know, I just try to have fun. You know, be myself and just push myself to the limits and just let other guys see that I'm pushing myself every single day to be the best I can be. Tommy, you get a lot of feedback from Coach Lenny or not, like daily or constant. Tell me how that works. Oh, constant. Whether constant. it's in the film room or even if we're on there, he'll text, you know, we, obviously we have a quarterback group chat. He'll send a clip in there with him voiceover. It just something else comes up. Um, Coach Taylor Reed's also been helping a lot with all that because, you know, Coach Lenny is as well the offense coordinator. So when the next group roll and he's calling the next place for the next group, so we get insight from Coach T. Reed and, you know, we just roll from there. But it's been constant, constant um, information that we've been getting and you know that's all you could ask for. When it's critical, are you taking it well? I mean, is it some? Are you always been that kind of learn from things you do wrong as, as, as much as things you do right? Oh, 100 percent. You have to look them dead in the eye and absorb all your information. You have to be a sponge. You have to be a sponge. You know, even guys in the NFL, you don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. So you have to take as much information in as you can and absorb it as you can and learn from it and put it on the field. What can the fans expect this fall? What? Describe your play as a quarterback. Are you guys get out of the pocket a lot? Do you, do you have plays, running plays called for you? That kind no, of stuff? I wouldn't say all that. We obviously we haven't gotten into like game plan things. You know, we're still in spring ball, still baseline learning the offense. But um, it's gonna it's gonna be exciting. I think we have a very explosive offense that is gonna be very, you know. TNT oriented, you know, there's a lot of weapons that can go. You can throw a little screen here and they can go the distance. And then obviously the run game with the offensive line, everybody, people coming back. I'm very excited, very excited. So you got to know Isaiah pretty well. So it seems like a nice weapon to have as a quarterback. No doubt. I mean, that's a guy. So for me, when I first met him, you know, everybody's talking about he's a quarterback. And I kind of had to go watch the films because you know, everybody says they were a quarterback at some point in their career. But to be a quarterback at college level and then make that switch for you, you have to be a special kind of athlete. So the more and more I look into it, he is that special athlete. Is that from a kid from Jersey, is there a Barryism or a part of his communication that, that first for you? Like you, where you go, wow, I've never heard that one before. You, I'm assuming you guys heard his whole mic up mm -hmm. deal. That's what I'm referencing. He has a too. lot. He says so many things that I have never heard before. And it's all new to me. It's all fun. You know, he keeps the meetings light. You know, obviously there's time to lock in, but he keeps them light and, you know, keeps everybody locked in. But, yeah, he, he's out there for sure, but that, that's our guy. Okay. Nice. is about five months away or less than five months away. Are you – is that too far away? Is that – you know, fine, perfect time to stay. As far as what? Say, the, the game's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you, you know, are you really eager to get, have to get here, or do you need more time to get here? Oh, I can't wait. I mean, obviously, we need we need more time as an offense yeah. to continue to learn, you know, the rest of the plays that are going in and be able to master them. You know, that's what we're going to do. And after spring ball, you know, it doesn't stop there. Then summer workouts start. And then as players, we go out on the field and do that all on our own and make sure that we hold ourselves to the highest standard. But, yeah, more time. But I cannot wait to get on the field. Very exciting. We haven't seen a lot of uh, Samari Collier. Um, what's your impression of him so far this camp? Strong arm. Samari had a strong arm. Um, you know, we he was he was a young buck. You know, he's he's coming up, being with older guys with me, Ryan and Art, guys who have played college football together. I think that's great for him to be able to learn, not just from one, but from three guys. And um, you know, we're, we're helping him every every step of the way, and he's got a high ceiling, very high ceiling. What's it like being in a quarterback battle with Art? Obviously, he's limited in what you guys can do. How do you guys kind of play off each other? And I assume you still push each other, even though he can't make those throws in practice. Oh, of course. I mean, so I don't know if you guys ever see team out there, but when all the quarterbacks that are behind you, everybody is behind watching and doing all the all the mental reps. As Coach Lane talks about mental reps. So after I come off a drive and I go in the back, me and Art talk, and we're like, what'd you see here? What'd you see there? We just pick off each other's minds, see what we can do better and what the offense can be better at as in the whole.